Sorry, I'm yawning. Make more beacons so I could, uh... Oh, crap. Eh, I'll just kill anyone. That's fine. Oh, and Barrett, earlier when you were leaving, I was uh, saying bye, but I realized that you didn't hear any of it because my mute was off. But I did thank you for uh, playing the game with me and hanging out in the DMZ. <laughs> Super fun. We had some good runs. end of it? Dang. Uh, let's see what's out here. see something over there. Uh, I need more tethers. Also I like the tethers because I get <laughs> I get lost and uh, even though I have an oxygen tank um, it's easier for me to remember where I've been. Dang I need a uh, Is DMZ gonna have a bunker that you level now? Wait, what? I'm down for the DMZ. It was always fun with you. Oh, thanks. Um, looking forward to the new season. The game's gonna gonna be a new map. I did read about the new map, and instead of the desert storm, there's a fog storm. I think that the desert storm is gonna be gone altogether. Um, and I think there's a map inside the new map, kind of like Kosachai. Kosachek. I call it, I just call it Kosachek. Um, moon buggy. Your title, it does? Um, I changed my title. I don't know why. Let me check again. Okay, I put it again. It's becoming more like an escape from Tarvac. What's the escape from Tarvac? Turkov. DMC gonna have a bunker that you level now. I don't know, I heard it. Um, oh, maybe I just, maybe I just didn't hit complete or done. That, that's a bummer. Um, so I wonder if it's, 
if the levels are like the bunker. Oh, the original. Okay, that's yeah. This before my time, old man. <laughs> I wasn't in the DMZ in the know. Oh no, I clipped it. God dang it. Um, gosh, I made it all the way down here. I think this is exactly what happened last time and I forgot that I didn't have enough stuff to keep going. I wonder if, actually, Oh no, I need a, um, it'd be cool to have a, like a personal soil centrifuge because then I could just take my canister and uh, make compound from it, from the dirt, but it's not gonna work. Escape from Tarkov is different game, but not even me. Oh, hyper realistic version of DMZ. I mean, hyper realistic. And instead of you playing a random character, it's like you are out in the DMZ level. So you mean like your character stays with you? Like your character grows? Kind of like how you keep your, uh, your uh, operators? Would you level them up instead? Is that what you mean? <laughs> oh, that does say IRL. Man, okay, yeah. I'm probably gonna hit the bed soon. <laughs> it has it has been 12 hours, so my eyes might be failing me. That makes more sense. So let me actually read it. Escape from Tarkov is a different game, not even made by COD people. It's hyper-realistic version of DMZ. I mean, hyper-realistic as if instead you're playing a random character, it's like you were out in the DMZ IRL. Oh, okay. Okay, my brain is comprehending everything now. Actually, I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, Go back to my starting point here and then leave off here. So then when I drop in tomorrow, I, ooh, I will uh, grab some more compound that can make some more tethers and keep exploring. I did find I, I did I could see the part that opened up so I'm at least happy with that. Astroneer, I also can stream from play for hours, which is why I don't. <laughs> I know I could spend another five hours just exploring down here, but um, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. Oh my goodness, I wasn't paying attention. I went the wrong way. So I guess if I read, when I read the chat, um, I'm not going to keep running because I get turned around. I'm just going to stop so I know where I'm at. Imagine if you dropped an Afghan with a gun and you said go fight. If it was a game, you would be fine playing, but IRL, you'd be scared sh oh, shitless. Get dust in your eye. Oh, wow. Okay. You can't carry much loot. Oh, so it's like not just characteristic and graphic wise hyper realistic. It's hyper realistic and uh, I don't know what I want to say, like atmosphere, not atmosphere, but like uh, humanizing it, humanizing the aspect of it. Yes. Okay, and that's also how I know I'm tired now, because uh, 
my words are not coming together. So I am going to uh, get back. I actually only slept for four hours. So when I got off, I was like 6.45 this morning. And then I, uh, I don't know what time I actually fell asleep, but I, I woke up around 10.30. Uh, and then just kind of chilled for a bit, got some stuff done and head it back on, which I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing tomorrow. <laughs> just sleep for a couple hours and head back to streaming. I do wanna play Fortnite tomorrow, at least for a little bit. The uh, season four looks so crazy. Well, the new um, map, or not map, but the new uh, location in the rainforest, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, high five for the four hour slap. Slaps. I was trying to say sleeps and naps. <laughs> four hour slaps, there we go. I generally just, I don't like sleeping a lot anyways. Five hours is good for me. I definitely would say eight hours is too long. So I'm also realizing I can make some shortcuts over here and save some of these tethers, which I kind of veered off over here a little bit. So maybe I'll just bring those tethers back tomorrow and uh, just keep going straight. Oh wow, I didn't even realize. I made it, I'm here at the end. All right, well, this is where I will end here. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it, everybody that's watching. Give you a little wiggle and a little dance on my way out. <laughs> Take care, have a good one. I'm going to try and make it to the stream. I want to help you try to reach. Thank you, I appreciate it. It was super fun playing uh, DMZ with you last night and today um definitely appreciate it. you've been hanging out with me literally all day super 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 appreciate it also anybody else that's been hanging out with me all day in and out definitely appreciate you guys too um it was super fun we'll uh come back and uh do it in a couple more hours <laughs> have a good night everybody or good day or good morning uh and have fun <laughs>